Share, we're gonna share. How about that? No, and this is not share who married Sonny and all that good stuff. Okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this right. We're gonna do this on the with the four mics over here. First of all, again, with your kind permission, since I now have a microphone that works. God bless you, thank you. I would like to very quickly introduce to you the members of the traditions. On <laughs> it's just gonna be a little rough because I'm usually on the other side. On my right, ladies and gentlemen, the man with the pedigree from the original devotions, Mr. Louis DiCarlo. Third on the right, he is our vocal arranger, he is our baritone tenor and lead singer. Say hello to Mr. Lawrence Galvin. And every group, ladies and gentlemen, needs a lead singer. We happen to feel we have an outstanding one. And it's a love. Yes, it even gets better, believe me. This is good. You guys didn't think I could do that, did you? You want to hear me do it again? No, of course not. No, don't, no, don't go there. Don't go there. We feel we have an outstanding lead singer, ladies and gentlemen. As you've just heard these past two songs, we call him the... <laughs> That's the sound of the men waking on the chain gang. Thank you so much. Look, thank you very much. No, we're not going to do that song. Ladies and gentlemen, we call him the mailman because as you've just heard, he always delivers. Mr. John Strike. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, very truly yours, I am Chris Mahoney, I sing bass. Thank you so much. And I've saved the best for last, ladies and gentlemen, because not only is he the son of our original baritone, talk about keeping it in the family, but he is Lindenhurst High School, class of 1984. Say hello to native son, Mr. Christopher Petrie. What do you know? Son of a gun, look at that, we got him. Thank you, sir, we now have a mic. Pretty good though for four mics now, right? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, for our final song, let, we would like to take you back to a song that has been a very, very good luck charm for the traditions. This song took us from a stage in New Jersey to the Westbury Music Fair, to the Nassau Coliseum, to the Brendan Byrne Arena, and ultimately, in 1993, this song took us when we opened up for Gene Pitney to Carnegie Hall. Thank you. The year was 1958. The group was Lee Andrews and the Hearts, and the song, ladies and gentlemen, touched each and every one of us. So let's go back for the last time when the sidewalk was our stage and the streetlight was our spotlight. Oh, <laughs> 
This next quartet really are amazing. They've had experience uh, in television. They're very good about changing stations quite often. Uh, they've been at the movie, in the movies. You, they go to the theater, I think, once a week together. And uh, they will next be appearing, believe it or not, I kid you not, uh, they will be appearing in Atlantic City at the Sands. Not at the hotel, they'll just be on the beach. <laughs> And if you think I'm funny, they're even funnier. But wait until you hear the harmony that these four gentlemen make. It's an amazing sound track. But ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sound Track. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Lindenhurst, how are you? They flew me in from Deer Park. I didn't. Hello, hello. I thought I'd never get here. Uh, uh, good water. Spread out. Spread out. Why I order? Thank you. Can you hear okay? Because I can't. Can we get the yellow one fixed, please? Yellow mic fixed? It's fixed. All right, are we okay? Yes, we're ready to go. Are we ready? I'm ready. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take you to Broadway. Here are the Jersey Boys. Hit it. Clap your hands. Leave it up that volume, please. Please, give it some volume. Clap your hands.
songs from the 50s and the 60s. We need soundtrack, we're gonna take it to the 70s, the 1870s, and this song was, <laughs> this song was very popular back then. No, this song was done by a great group, great R&B soul group. Put your hands together for the Delphonics. Delphonics. Thank you. 
Yeah, we, we could have called in a couple of weeks ago, oh, some course, friends yeah. of ours out in California, we told them that uh, we were going to be here doing a fundraiser, something, uh, a cause that was really important to Soundtrack and everyone out in Suffolk County. So we asked him to come and fly in from California, and they haven't been here together as a duet in probably how many years? 40 or 40. 30, 30, 40 years. So please put your hand together. A welcome for the first time in Linden House, Sonny and Cher. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. I hope they brought music with them. Sonny and Cher. So we don't have a pot. Least I'm sure of all the things we got. Babe, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got flowers in the spring. I got you to wear my ring. record became a hit. It kind of, uh, never never doubt yourself, never say die. This group got together in the late 50s, around 1960. They did a lot of uh, local shows and they met a guy by the name of Joe Petralia, who in turn introduced them. He was a record promoter. He liked what they sounded like, obviously. He introduced them to uh, the powers that be, the head of uh, Delta Records. And at that point in time, they took an audition he liked them. 
sign you up, we'll have you record something. And this, the head liked some of the old standards because uh, it was around the time the Marcells had Blue Moon and he liked the idea of them doing the standards. So they went back and got a 1946 song that was a hit for Nat King Cole called I Love You for Sentimental Reasons. So they recorded I Love You for Sentimental Reasons and uh, then for whatever reason, and this happens all the time, the powers that be, eh, they weren't that crazy about it. Uh, not that it was a bad recording, they just didn't, they, you know, because the Cleftones had just released one, <clears> the <throat> same song, I Love You for Sentimental Reasons, and they had a, a hit with it. So they said, why are we gonna, enter, you know, have these guys do the same song? So what can we do? So the original bass, Ray Sanchez, went home, wrote a song, in the style of uh, a gimmicky song that they were looking for at Delta, and they recorded it. it, was called Rip Van Winkle. That was supposed to be the A-side. This is an amazing story. But when it was released, it turned out to be the B-side. So what was played on the air was I Love You For Sentimental Reasons. Then uh, it didn't go anywhere, to be honest with you. Then Delta, all their material was sold to Roulette Records. And about a year and a half down the road, Roulette says, we're going to issue an oldies but goodies album. And of course, all those albums generally have hits in them. But for some reason, Rip Van Winkle wound up in that album. And nobody to this day knows why, but it was in there. And in Philadelphia, they started to play the song. And it got a lot of reaction. So uh, Roulette released it in that town and it sold 15,000 copies in a couple of weeks. So they re-released it nationally again, and it became the hit we all remember from 1964. So you never know when, uh, when a record's gonna come back and be a smash, as this one was. You remember it, don't you? Yeah. For a minute, I thought you were all Rip Van Winkle's there, sleeping on you. All right, yeah, all right. The drum is right there. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, bunch of guys devoted to what they do. Welcome, the Devotions. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hey, well, how are you doing? <laughs>
very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be asked to join the. Uh, uh, Joe. Hey. <laughs> the show tonight. I'm just happy I made it across without falling out there. <laughs> Yeah, is that Steve Dassam? Yeah.